Hello everybody, this is Kitty Bit, and this is Riello. And I'm Sashimi. So, you're probably wondering what's going on here. Well, couldn't really tell you. Sometimes these, these, these hunters, they just get a little crazy, you know. But this week, we are here to talk about the same thing we talk about every week. And that's all the weekly events. And, as always, as, as usual, uh, at the end of the month, uh, it's starting to get pretty slow. The update should be right around the corner. So this week they've got a whole bunch of pretty much all recycled quests. But mm -hmm. we're going to take a look because there are a couple handy ones in there. Yeah, they, I don't think there are any new ones. But uh, if you're looking for something to do, here's what you got. Yep, so we've got Flesh Cleaved to Bone. This is a low rank quest. Uh, this one is just good for gear. Um, it's really good for these monsters if you're low rank and you're new to the game because you can get into the arena. Uh, it's fast for farming them. They can't get away from you because they're in a special arena. I mean, granted, you can't get away from them, but they mostly fight one another. Mm -hmm. And because they're sharing an HP pool, they've each got a lot less HP than they would if you were fighting them solo in quests. So you can get the gear pretty fast this way. Uh, you need to be hunter rank H8. Eight or higher, uh, you can faint three times, and your reward money is seventy nine twenty. They're pretty fun looking sets too. Yeah, they're they're good sets. Odogron is one of the Odog A A Ron is actually one of the better sets you can get mm -hmm. uh, for mm -hmm. getting into end game and moving up the ranks. I mean, Radabon is just mostly fun looking. All right, so why don't you let them know what this one is about? This is Triple Threat Throwdown. If you bring your bandit mantle, you can make a bunch of uh, zenny on it. And also, they drop a lot of decorations at the end of this one. And these guys are actually all fanged wyverns. Mm -hmm. So if you go and check your bounties, which we recommend you always do before you do any quests, but you can uh, you can get a good armor sphere farm going along with mm -hmm. this as well if you go and check for any kind of fanged uh, wyvern hunts large. Uh, if you get captured, then just capture them. You can actually make this a lot quicker if you capture them. They they die really easily, so. You need to be hunter rank 13 or higher. You can die three times, and the reward's 1440. All right, we've got a Fluvial Opera. So this is another research quest like last week. Uh, these, they release every week. It's just a new zone that's featured. It's going to feature all the monsters that pop in that zone naturally, which here is uh, Great Gyros, Radabon, Odog, Aaron, and B um, Beazle. Basil. Basil Juice. Basil Juice. Uh, so this one is actually really great for two things. Uh, your research, you'll want to bring the skill scholar on your gear if you're mm -hmm. trying to hunt for those trophies or achievements uh, Finish out your research log for any of these monsters. Uh, they're also really good for crowns uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, small, they got yeah. a really good chance of showing up in this small or large mm -hmm. Sash did one last week uh, when the ancient forest was up and I think you got what what four crowns all in one thing Yeah, it was three or four all right, you need to be HR 13 or higher. You can faint three times. Your reward money is 28.8. The Deathly Quiet Curtain. This is the second week of Arch Tempered Val Hazak. Yep. That's who's featured in this quest. Uh, you'll need to be Hunter Rank 50 or higher. Uh, you can die three times. And if it's your first time fighting him and you uh, don't have very good gear, kind of like us, you might want to uh, eat for feline insurance get yourself some extra deaths mm -hmm. but i think people have almost got him down to a science um in the beginning if you tried to do this guy with a pickup group apparently he was just murdering everybody yeah uh let's see so you can get thirty-six thousand zenny for this one and we already went over the hunter rank in death so a simple task uh this one is the one uh it's just there's no monsters at all Except for small monsters, you're going to be going into the ancient forest to pick up mushrooms, and there's going to be a lot of tempered footprints. So mm -hmm. if you need tempered footprint, if you want some tempered hunting, uh, not elders, these are for regular tempered monsters. Yeah, for your investigations. Yep, get your investigations up, go in there. Usually you'll find two, three uh, uh, footprints all at once. You might want to bring skills that will, in uh, like botany, that will increase your gathering for plants. So when you go and find these mushrooms, you only need to find two spawn points, and then you don't really have to worry about it. So you can go just kind of gather all the all the footprints you can. You can also bring scout fly uh, detection up, and uh, scout scout fly range increase. That's what it is. Bring that, and they'll find you the footprints pretty much no matter where you are. So 
you need to be hunter rank 30 or higher for this one. You can die three times. I really don't think anything will bother <laughs> you, though. There's nothing in there. Um, you, your reward money is just 3600 but, I mean, that's just because you're delivering shroom caps and gathering footprints, so. Mm -hmm. All right. We are done with red. Let's move over to the blue. She's the arena lass. If you are new to the arena, these quests you don't need to eat beforehand because they're going to take it away from you anyway, yep. and you have to use all of their items and equipment. So, for the challenges, uh, like I said, if you are new, if you look right here above Sasha's pretty flower, you will see there's a bunch of weapon icons. For each of these quests, you have to use one of the pre-selected gear sets that the game provides for you and those icons tell you what weapons are available in each of the fights. The uh, little icons to Sasha's left over here, uh, to the left of her, is uh, A, B, and C. Those are time ranks. If you can beat the mission in under those amounts of time, you get better rewards. That goes for all of these. Alright, so first up we've got Nergigante Slay Event 1 and 4. These are the same quest, just different weapon types. So, well, they've actually got different times on them, don't they? Yeah. Six minutes, and oh. this one's six and ten, this one's five and nine. I never noticed that. So, you need to be hunter rank 16 or higher. You can faint nine times. You might think that's quite a few deaths, but this Nergigante is probably the hardest incarnation of Nergigante in the game. Uh, you're, yeah, tra rough. you're trapped in the arena with him, and he's extremely aggressive. He doesn't really get tired at all, and he's after you constantly. So it's it's pretty rough to go in there with him. But, I mean, if you want practice against Nergi and you want to get better at him, this is as good a shot as any. You can get ace, uh, ace Hunter coins as well as vouchers and gold or steel eggs. So it's pretty decent for money, especially once you get to where you can kill him faster. You'll, yeah, I went through the Hunter rank. All right, you want to go over this one? Uh, this is fighting Double Joe in the arena in case you feel like being trapped in an arena with Double Joe. Uh, Who doesn't want that? Uh, not me. Well, he actually wasn't that hard, if I remember correctly. I think he was not bad. Yeah, we this, got a B. This Devil Joe was not so bad. Sometimes these arena monsters are actually pretty watered down, and this mm -hmm. Devil Joe is one of those cases. Yeah, and he'll drop you some eggs, uh, golden or uh, less awesome ones, I think, for the lower ranks. And uh, Hunter Ace Coins, is this one? Yeah, he's Hunter Ace Coins, because yeah. he's technically an elder. Hmm. And you got nine deaths, the usual. Hunter Ang 16 or higher. You got... Oh, wait, that's not a time. You got 50 minutes, but uh, your time determines your rewards. So. Go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. All right, so next we've got What Lurks in the Forest. This one is one of the only challenges that's not based in the arena. You're going to be in the ancient forest hunting down these guys with... Uh, if you want to beat the time, you got to kill all three for an A in 8 minutes, 18 minutes for a B. Um, you won't have... not. I don't think any of the gear sets have any real healing items to speak of. No, I don't think they give you anything. you got to gather all the stuff. No, uh, on... Uh, on Lance and on Greatsword, I had a couple potions at least. So, but you'll want to be sure you know where all of your all of your gathering points are, your honey, herbs, and such, so you mm -hmm. can gather some stuff as you go. But try to be quick so you can get the good rewards. Mm -hmm. Which this uh, quest is really good for Hunter King coins. Gives you a lot of vouchers, ancient potions, um, eggs as well. I think Sash got like two or three from one go on this yep, one. I did. And Hunter rank sixteen or higher. You can faint nine times, and there's your weapons up above. The best of the best. We thought this one was actually going to be a really nasty one, because as you can see, you got Teostra, Kushala Daura, as well as Nergigante. Well, they are all extremely watered-down versions of these guys. Mm -hmm. These are... Uh, and they're not even all in there at once. They give you some time to figure stuff out before they throw Nergi at you at the end. Yeah, and Teostra, you'll be in there with him for about five minutes before Kushala pops in. Mm -hmm. Once Kushala pops in, they actually target each other far more than they will target you. So yeah. they they kind of fight the fight for you, and Nergi's not that bad either. Um, your reward money is going to be 6480. 
Uh, your time limit's 50 minutes, uh, rank 16 or higher, nine times as always. There's your times for A, B, and C. These are good for, uh, this is probably what we would recommend for farming ace hunter coins, uh, you can get gold eggs, lots of vouchers, ancient potions, I think some mega barrel bombs, just, just general good items to have. And lastly, we have challenge quest 2 expert. So you're probably thinking, oh, this is a tempered Nergigante, and he's going to be way worse than, you know, that one up above in the Slay event. Well, kind of yes and no. The one in the Slay event actually has a lot more HP, a lot more standing power, but he doesn't hit as hard as this one. This yeah. one isn't quite as aggressive as the Slay event, though. This one is still really aggressive, but... He he just doesn't hit as harder or he hits harder but doesn't he's not hit as nasty as often, I guess yeah he's yeah not as mean so you can get in here these are gonna be hunter ace coins uh, st uh steel and gold eggs uh, also vouchers and bombs the usual stuff from arenas hunter rank fifteen or higher oddly he's a tempered but you gotta you have as uh, there's a lower hunter rank requirement yeah so if you feel like trying your hand at a tempered monster but you're just starting out you can give him a shot yep really good way to uh, train yourself against Tur tempered nergigante mm -hmm. uh, expires uh, time expires or faint nine times and there's your times off to the left well alrighty guys that was it for this week's weekly event rundown uh, the update should be coming here pretty soon, probably next week. The event has ended in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, we play that as well. They had an event going called the Make It Rain campaign, and they've never had multiple events running concurrently. So we're thinking that next week is likely going to be when the Behemoth and uh, when the Behemoth comes to Monster Hunter World and uh, Rathalos goes to fourteen. So. Usually at the beginning of the month, we get our new monsters, we get all of our new content, and then it kind of dries out toward the uh, toward the latter half of the month where we're at now. So, mm -hmm. Not such an exciting week this week, but hopefully next week we're going to have all new, fresh everything. And um, guys, we appreciate you watching. Uh, let us know what you think of the events, and hope you have fun with them. Hope you're having fun with old Ballsack out there. Mm -hmm. And... If you're new to the channel, feel free to drop us some comments. As far as uh, likes, subs, that's all up to you. Uh, what we do ask around here is that if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google local animal rescue or adoption. And if you can't bring one home, then Sasha's got another recommendation. You can also go volunteer at local shelters and stuff and still get some time with them. Or you can donate used uh, blankets, clothing, that kind of stuff. Or you can just donate money. Yep. If you've got love to give, there's plenty of ways to give it. And lots of animals out there who could use your love and help. And speaking of love, we love you guys. And we will see you next time. This is Rayello. And I'm Sashimi. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.